Hi, this is Kathy Chandler with Bryan College. I'm going to take you through the steps on how to use the theory reinforcement area for exercising on RTC. When you're logged on to the Bryan College Real-Time Coach website, under My Activities you will find a folder entitled Theory Reinforcement. When you click the plus and expand that, you'll see there's four folders separating out your Theory Real-Time book into the 40 lessons. For Theory 1 students, you can click on Theory Lessons 1 through 10, and that will bring up each of the exercises for all of the lessons 1 through 10. You will see that some have more exercises than others. At Bryan College, we would like to see all students complete each exercise. To access an exercise, we'll take an exercise, we'll run down here, and we'll go to Lesson 8. Lesson 8, the first thing that you will see is each one of these is a link that you can click on and it tells you something about it. One word every three seconds. This signals that it is only in text mode, scrolling text mode, that you will be writing what you see. Down here, 8-3a says 15 words per minute for 6 minutes and 42 seconds, one voice. This means this exercise has an option. You can have text scrolling that you're writing what you see, or you can put it to an audio mode and listen to the words and write what you hear. We'll click on 8-3a. This is going to bring up a pop-up box. Now be sure that you do not have a pop-up blocker running on your computer or else these will not open up for you. Here at this box, the first thing you'll see is your setup. It gives a description of what you're going to be doing. It has a system setup area to verify that your steno writer and your case cap will work properly with Real-Time Coach. It tells you the modes of video, audio, and text and what the purpose is. For theory students, this setup box over here to the right, you will not be using it any time during theory. This is for the higher speed classes. Up at the top, you'll see a red arrow that is flashing, pointing towards exercise. Click on the Exercise tab. This brings us to where now we can practice. To practice on theory reinforcement, you must have your steno machine turned on with paper in it, or a paperless writer that's powered on. It must be connected via cable to your computer. Your case catalyst software must be up and running and then verify that the two are talking to each other by pressing the keys on your Cine machine and verifying that you're seeing them in your new trans edit file that you've opened on CaseCat. In the audio mode, you'll see down here settings, presentation mode, audio. You have an option over here where it says select clip length. Click on that drop down arrow. You can work just on the first minute. You can work on the first two minutes, or you can play the entire clip. The decision is yours. Work these over and over again until you can write them without hesitation. You're focusing on trying to get 99 to 100% accuracy. Once you've selected what you want to do in audio, you'll see a play button over here that's flashing. You can click on play once it starts playing. Anything you write on your steno machine will come up under the white practice window here on the right side. Now if the speed is too fast for you, you will see a bar down here the side that has green through red. If you click on this arrow that says default, drag it down, you'll see you can make it 20% slower. Your goal is to keep working this until 20% slower, you have no hesitation then move it to 15% slower until you can write with no hesitation until you can get it back up into the default area. Realizing the percent accuracy is recorded at original speed only. After you are done writing the entire exercise and you see it over here in this practice window area, when the recording stops, come to check entire exercise, click on the check button and it will go through and grade this for you and everything that you wrote, anything that was incorrect, it will put in red and it will explain your errors to you. If you choose to do in text mode, you'll click on text. 
you'll see that the select speed window comes up. Click on the drop down arrow and you can drop it to a minus four for those of you who are new. Remember we're working on accuracy. If you cannot write it slow, you'll never be able to write it fast. You can do a minus four. Your goal is to keep moving it up until you can get back to a medium speed. When you are all set up with your machine, ready to go, you're going to click on this play that's over here in the text scroll box. You'll click on play and this text will start scrolling up and you will keep writing. Whatever you write on your steno machine again will come into this practice window here on the right hand side. When the lesson is done scrolling and you're done writing, come over to check entire exercise. This check tab will now be lit. You click on check and again it will correct everything you've written. It will show you in red any errors you had and in this text scroll area it will put all of the words and it will put in green what the words should have been. After you verify any errors and you practice those errors, then click on the reset tab, go back over here, select your speed again, and click play and run it through again. Remembering to work these over and over and over again. All right. Now's your time to go practice.